One day before leaving for war, Dad gave Zack his baseball glove. This glove promises I'll watch your biggest games, he said. Zack slept clutching it, dreaming of celebratory fist bumps. But Dad's unit was ambushed, and he never returned home. Still, Zack became a pitching star, aided by Dad's spirit in that glove. Before World Series games, Zack always wore it. Gripping the worn leather, he could hear Dad's proud voice through the stitches. Though Dad made the ultimate sacrifice, his everlasting guidance propelled each winning pitch from that battle-worn mitt. Once there was an old lady who went to the bank to withdraw ten dollars. But the teller told her she had to use the ATM outside for withdrawals less than a hundred dollars. Confused, she asked why. The teller, not very politely, said it was the rule and asked her to hurry. The old lady stayed quiet for a moment and then requested to withdraw all her money. The teller was shocked to find out she had a hundred thousand dollars in her account. He explained they didn't have that much cash. However, he could give her $3,000 immediately. She accepted and only took $10, saying, Please deposit the rest back into my account. The moral of the story is to stop being difficult with old people. They built the world we live in today. One day, a young boy and his dad went to see a soccer game. You're the best dad, said the boy, and you're the best son, the dad replied, giving him a hug. They sat down to watch the game and the dad described every part of it to his son, cheering loudly when a goal was scored. The boy was filled with joy, but a couple next to them didn't like the dad talking so much and told him to stop. The dad didn't listen and kept explaining the game to his son. This made the couple very angry and they yelled, just be quiet, but the dad kept talking. They got even angrier and said, he can see, stop explaining. The father calmly replied, yes, I do need to explain. My son has an incurable disease that made him blind. A farmer sold butter to a baker. One day, the baker checked the butter's weight to see if it was right. It was not enough, so he went to a judge. The judge asked the farmer how he measured the butter. The farmer said, I don't have a measure, but I use a scale. He explained he buys bread from the baker and uses its weight to measure the butter he gives back. So if the butter's weight was wrong, it was because the baker's bread was not the right weight. The lesson is this, what you give is what you get. Do not cheat others. One day a girl was so excited for snack time, her mom packed her favorite cookies. When the bell rang, she raced to get the cookies her best friend saw and said, yummy. But the girl didn't share, she just ate them herself. At snack time her friend had no treat while the girl happily munched away. Her friend's tummy even rumbled but she still didn't share. Later at recess, another girl asked to play their game. The girl rudely said no, only her best friend could play. The other girl sadly walked away. When the girl's mom picked her up, she asked why her friend seemed upset. Her mom reminded her, Don't you know sharing and including others is the kind thing to do? The girl realized she was selfish with her snack and her game. To have true friends, she needed to be generous and kind to everyone. The next day, the girl happily shared her treat and let all the girls join in playing together. This is a story about a boy and his father. It's sad but also full of love. When the boy was 16, he asked his father, Dad, what will you give me for my 18th birthday? His father replied, Son, that's still a long time away. The boy turned 17, but then something scary happened. He suddenly got very sick, and his father rushed him to the hospital. The doctor told them the boy had a really bad heart problem. The boy, scared, asked his father, Did they say I won't make it? His dad just cried. Thankfully, the boy got better and turned 18. When he got back home, he found a letter from his dad on his bed. It said, Son, if you're reading this, the surgery worked. Remember when you asked me about your 18th birthday gift? I didn't know what to give you then, but now I do. I gave you my heart. Happy birthday, my dear son. One day, a man saw a beautiful snake at a pet store and took it home. They became best friends, doing everything together like eating and sleeping. But then, he noticed his snake friend wasn't eating and was getting skinny. The man was worried so he took the snake to a vet. The first vet checked the snake, but couldn't find anything wrong. Then, another vet looked at the snake and got very scared. He told the man, you need to get rid of it now. This snake wants to eat you. One day, a dad gave his son a challenge. Spend a day without using your phone or computer. Just enjoy the simple stuff around you. If the son could do it, he would get his dad's very special watch, which had been in the family for years. The son was excited to try and spend the whole day outside. He walked, played with his friends, 
and swam in the river. Doing these simple things made him happy more than he expected. But there was something the son didn't know. His dad was very sick with a disease that couldn't be fixed. When the son came home, feeling good about his day, he found out his dad had died. There was a note from his dad that said, Enjoy every little thing, my son. Live every day like it's your last, so you don't end up with regrets like I have. Son felt sad, but also understood what his dad was trying to teach him. Life goes by fast, and it's the simple, everyday moments that mean the most. Don't waste your life. Love and cherish every moment. Once there was a hard-working dad who always worked to make money for his family. He loved his son dearly and gave him everything he asked for but the son didn't appreciate his dad's hard work. One day, the son wanted a new phone. The dad bought it, but the son didn't like the color and threw it to the ground and broke it. The dad was very angry because he worked hard to buy it. He told his son to earn money for a new one. So, the next day, the dad took his son to work with him. The son worked hard all day until midnight, but when he got his pay, it wasn't enough for a phone. He kept working every day until he finally saved enough. He bought a new phone and showed it to his dad. His dad just smiled and said, Now, go and throw this phone to the ground. Once, there was a boy who had a best friend. They did everything together, laughing and playing. The boy always shared his food with his friend. But one day, the boy forgot his lunch and asked his friend for some food. Shockingly, his friend refused, saying he needed it all for himself. The teacher noticed this and told the boy, It's okay to be alone instead of having fake friends who only use you. She explained, Just like you wouldn't drink poison because you're thirsty, it's better to be by yourself than to be hurt by friends who aren't true. The boy learned that having real friends who care about you is more important than being surrounded by people who pretend to be your friend. One day, a woman married and moved in with her husband and his mother. Soon, she couldn't stand her mother-in-law and decided to do something drastic. She went to a store to buy poison. The store owner, hearing her plan, asked, Why do you need poison? The woman replied, I can't live with my husband's mother. She's too difficult. The store owner said, I'll help you. I have a poison that works slowly so no one will know. But you must be calm, patient, and kind to her to avoid suspicion. The woman agreed, bought what she thought was poison, and started treating her mother-in-law better as she used it. As she changed her behavior, her relationship with her mother-in-law got better. They started getting along. Later, worried about the poison, the woman went back to the store owner. He smiled and said, Don't worry, I didn't give you real poison. It was just orange juice. The real problem was in your thinking. One day, a young boy asked a rich and smart man how to become successful. The smart man told the boy to meet him at the river the next day for the answer. At the river, they walked into the water until it covered their heads. Suddenly, the man pushed the boy under the water. The boy struggled hard to breathe and even felt a fish swim by his leg. After a while, the man let the boy come up for air. The boy took a big, deep breath. Why did you fight so hard to breathe? The man asked. I needed air, the boy replied. The man smiled and said, when you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe, then you will be successful.